problem. Yeah, absolutely. We are happy to um, do this remotely because it's 2020 and that's what we do. We yeah. don't meet in person anymore. <laughs> Okay, um, so just as a reminder, um, we will have live streams of our services at 1030. Um, so that's definitely something that we um, would encourage everyone to check on. Um, they will be on Facebook. Um, and so that's a great way to kind of connect with us as a group. Um, and for those of you that are watching right now, if you're making comments on Facebook, we can't see them. So um, just be aware of that. Um, and who's leading our service this Sunday, Father Christopher? Yeah, so Pat Wingo, Father Pat Wingo will be preaching. And one thing I wanted to add is be sure to check your email box regularly because what we will probably start doing is after we've recorded Noonday Prayer, any service we, we, um, we record, we will probably cut and paste that link and send out a parish-wide email so that you can watch it at your convenience at a later time. That's great. Yeah, it's a great way for us to get connected. And even if you skip a day and you can't watch today's, then you can watch the next day's. Or if you're taking your lunch break at, you know, as you're telecommuting or whatever, if you're doing that at 1.30 instead of noon, you know, you can still connect with us and be able to pray with us, you know, at your convenience. So that's great. Um, and I, I want to give out. So I, I just want to give a big shout out to you, Gigi, and to Rachel. I think the um, the evening bedtime stories and the Compline is fantastic. It's really resonated with the parish. And I also want to give thanks to Gigi um, for her assistance with the, the technical know how. And also, if people could sort of offer their prayers for Olivia, she Pat, her grandfather passed away. And she's not able to be with us right now. She's with her family, but she's going through a very hard time. So keep her in your prayers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and um, we we are are keeping her in our prayers and her family, the Johnson family, as um, as she begins, you know, a a time of grief. Um, so the building is closed right now. Um, even us staffers are not going into the building at all. We have not much access to it. Um, yesterday, we have fogged the building and the building will be closed for about two weeks after that so that um, any germs that may be on surfaces have a chance to really die. Um, so, um, so we're not accessing the building at all and we won't be having services this Sunday, obviously. And, um, you know, I guess Father Christopher can talk a little bit more about services going forward because um, I'm not privy to that. <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, I think we will have a service this Sunday in the nave. I think um, we are in the safe zone at that point. So we will have a service in the nave. And um, wanted to give you guys a heads up regarding Holy Week and how this is going to work. Uh, Father Pat Wingo and I have been in discussion, and I think we've come up with a pretty good plan. Uh, we are also lucky that uh, Caroline Vogel will join us for Monday Thursday service. Just She just wants to be with the community, and so she is just going to freely give her services. But uh, Father, be on the lookout for, because Father Pat Wingo will send out a more detailed email giving you information about how to access the services. But just on a brief thumbnail sketch, we will have a Palm Sunday service we will have a quiet Eucharist on Monday, Stations of the Cross on Tuesday, Tenebrae on Wednesday, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. All of these will be streamed. And again, be on the lookout for more detailed information from Father Pat Wingo about how to access these services and more details about the services themselves. So. Right, so we will still have Easter. Easter will still come, um, but we will be doing it live streamed. Um, right. So as much as we love seeing all of your smiling faces in person, because germs, um, we want to keep everybody in our parish safe. It's very important to us that we keep everybody healthy and safe. So we will not be meeting in person, but the services will still be happening. Um, 
so yeah, viruses being, love church services. Viruses they will show up. A virus loves church services. They love right. church services, even though they're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and tell me a little bit about um, what's going on with the shepherds. I know that you and the shepherds have been working very hard to keep people connected. I even got a call from Jim Phillips. Thank you, Jim Phillips, for calling me. And um, so tell me a little bit more about um, what's going on with the um, shepherds in the time of COVID-19. Sorry, I lost you. Oh, I hear I is. <laughs> okay, all right. We had a, we had a, we had a, a, a bit a quick hiccup, but I think I got your question. So first of all, you guys are awesome. This is a fantastic parish, and everybody is stepping up to the plate to really maintain connection. Everyone is concerned about the well-being of everyone in our parish. So if you have not received a call yet, you probably will receive a call. We have two groups of people. The first group of people, they are called shepherds. Shepherds, they coordinate our pastoral care ministries throughout the church. Our second group is called sub-shepherd. Now, we have 42 volunteers, and these 42 volunteers have divided up every person that is in our directory. And each person has taken between 10 or 13 people, and they have committed to call them once a month. You might get um, more than one call a month. Uh, some of them may call more than once a month. And the purpose of those calls is just to say, how are you doing? Is everything okay? Is there a service that you need? We have people who have volunteered their services to deliver meals or prescriptions. We have uh, volunteers that can help people navigate technology limited to accessing our web streaming services here at Ascension or to answer any kind of low tech question. In fact, Gigi has also uh, volunteered to provide those tech services. So um, everyone at Ascension has really stepped up to the plate. We are grateful. And I just want to say this, even if you are not a sub shepherd, um, but if you have a directory at home, Open up the directory, find a name or two, uh, people that you know or people that you don't know. Call them up and just say, hey, I uh, wanted you to know that I'm thinking about you. And if you need to talk, we can talk. If you wanna pray, we can pray. But we're all in this together and we will probably be in this together for a long while. So thank you for being you. Awesome. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, that's a really great ministry. And um, shout out to all of you Ascension parishioners for really stepping up to the plate on that. That's, you know, we're, we're all, you know, we're a team and we take care of each other. And that's, that's really just a wonderful thing. Now, there's a couple, one thing I'd like to kind of finish up with for this week is, you know, a lot of our programming and everything has been real serious. You know, we've, we've done a lot of services. We've done a lot of you know, very, you know, intense kind of ministry. And I think it, it's a good time for a little bit of comic relief. Um, ah. So I have a wonderful list of dad jokes here. Um, ah. And so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to read a dad joke. And if Father Christopher laughs at the dad joke, then, then he gets a point. And the point is to get as few points as possible. So this is like golf. You don't want too many points. <laughs> okay. Father Christopher, are you ready for the first dad joke? Yes, I'm ready for the first dad joke. Okay. Would you like to hear a joke about construction? Well, I'm still working on it. <laughs> All right. One point for you. Remember, this is golf. You don't want points. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know, no. you can get. Okay. Um, what do you think is Forrest Gump's password? Like on his computer. Uh, uh, laugh like a box of chocolates. It's one Forrest one. <laughs> no, no laughing. Okay. Okay. That's good. <laughs> okay. 
Um, whoever stole my copy of Microsoft Office, I will find you because you have my word. Nothing, nothing. Good. Okay. Very I good. I couldn't hear good. you. Oh, you couldn't hear me. Okay. No. Whoever stole my, uh, my copy of Microsoft Office, I will find you. You have my oh. word. Ah, oh, I like that. Okay. <laughs> and um, I tell dad jokes, but I don't have any kids. I'm a faux pas. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay. Um, here's another one. Um, and this will be the last one. We'll do, we'll do some more next time. All right. The shovel was a groundbreaking invention. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a groaner. Oh. <laughs> All right. If you thought these jokes were funny, tell us in the comments. If you didn't think they were funny, then we don't care. <laughs> oh, I got one joke. I've got one. Can I tell one joke? Sure. Yeah. So uh, Virginia Branham actually showed me this um, comic strip and it was hilarious. Yeah. It has a dog and an owner standing next to one another, but the owner is in a cone and the dog is saying to the owner, this will teach you from uh, touching your face. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That was a funny joke. So thank you, Virginia Branham for passing that joke along. Maybe that would be one way to fight the coronavirus is we all have cones on our head. That's a, that's a thought. It, it could work. It could work. We could all wear the cone of shame until we're, we're all healed. <laughs> all righty. Well, thank you all for enjoy, for joining us. Or healed H E L L E D. Ha! ha. Oh, come on. That was pretty, that was pretty quick. Oh, y'all. Okay. I had to my face for that one. <laughs> All right, y'all. You're never going to invite me to do this again, ever, are you? Never again. <laughs> all righty. Thank you all for joining us for the tea. Um, we will see you guys, um, you know, once we're through with all this. But until then, stay connected. And um, your heavenly post will be in your email box tomorrow. And it'll have all kinds of information about what's going on with the church. The church is still, you know, we're still here. We're, we're not in the building, but we are, we are in the mission field very much right now. So um, he, if you all will, you know, we're praying for you. And if you guys will pray for us too, then that's a good thing. We're grateful for you. We're in this together. All Take right. care. Thank you all. Bye.